Welcome back to Flip FIFA. It's season number four. We are in the championship. An amazing finish to last season with Peterborough United. We're in 18th position, obviously, at, as the start of the season. And uh, this will be a fairly heavy simulated season, I feel, because uh, obviously a lot of these teams are League 1 and League 2 teams, respectively. But uh, there will be some big teams in here. We've got Arsenal to contend with. Uh, to fight it out to try and make it into the Premier League. We also have Manchester United, and uh, that is it. They are the only two Premier League teams here uh, sitting in the Championship. Um, you know what? Is there any other teams worth playing? It doesn't really look like it. Everyone else has sort of moved on. Chelsea are up in the Premier League and the like. So, uh, yeah, this Championship season probably won't be too heavily featured. Um, but... We do have the Champions League to try and take on. So I'm going to worry about Cups and Champions League in this one. And uh, we'll just see what happens. I mean, the main objective of this was to see who won the Premier League first and what the teams did. So uh, Chelsea might take it out this season. And that will be the end of that because we're not going to beat them, obviously. I can't see anything crazy happening up there. But uh, if we can get a crack at the Champions League here for us, well, that will wrap this series up nicely. So possibly the final season... Uh, we'll just wait and see how we travel. We might get barreled out in the qualifications and uh, it'll be a long, hard slug getting into season number five. But, yep, yeah, let's just get straight into this. We've got a big transfer window coming up. Not sure what kind of gameplay we'll get in this one, but I've looked at those suggestions. I'm going out. I'm scouting them. Uh, we've got a little bit of money to play with. Let's go and have a look now. Right, Domestic Cup objective is to reach the round of 32. The season's budget is $7 million. I thought we might have got a little bit more, but... Uh, yeah, obviously the board's taken a little bit. Uh, their side cut should be safe for winning the Euro League and that. But seven million—that's that, healthy. We could probably get a few decent players, maybe upgrade one of the scouts. The league objective is to gain automatic promotion. Okay, that is that is tough. Uh, but obviously the only two Premier League teams there, Manchester United and Arsenal, to deal with. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be in with a stab with that. We had an amazing season. They are happy with our EuroLeague performance and the domestic cup. Well, we didn't really worry about that last season, so we'll have to have a good hard look at that this year. Taking a look at the current starting lineup, and we've still got Gonzalez up front at 79. Uh, Taylor, not Madison. Loftus Cheek, I'm going to put him on the transfer list, see if we can get something for him, because uh, not really happy with how he's turned out. We've still got a lot of the stalemates there from the Posh United. Uh, you know, we've got Smith, we've still got Enclay, Taylor, Madison. Forrester is there. So a big starting lineup with Peterborough continued. So we're doing this the right way. Jones, well, he's already getting international call-ups. Uh, having a quick look here at the bench, you know, we've got some of those regens and youth players through now. Elton and Pichinocci, Gonzalez, Pestra and our scout future star, and Goshev. Gilby's coming back from injury. We've still got Baldwin. And, uh, well, we've got a no-face man in Nicholson that still needs to go. You know, I'm going to get rid of a few of these young lads that haven't really been growing, but... Uh, we will need that reserves team because there will be a lot of games. So we need to strengthen the reserves, strengthen the first team. Let's get into this transfer window. All right, preseason tournament and a chance to get some more cash here. They're all three and a half star teams. Um, well, I don't really know who to take on. Let's just go and chase the cash uh, in the European Intercontinental Cup or whatever it was called. Not too sure. All right, so... Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't even care. Update for England. Don't even care. Player has left the club in uh, Nicholson. They're no face man, so he's gone. And a uh, EuroLeague objective is to reach the knockout stage. So we're in the EuroLeague or are we in the champ? I don't fucking know. All right, the first player I've gone after is Sean Phyllis-Kirk. Uh, a 72 overall centre mid at 19 years of age. He wants 10 grand. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's a regen. Uh, we'll go and have a look at his stats shortly if he wants to take this contract on. I'm going to offer him just an important first-team player to start with. All right, we're home in the first uh, game of this European International Cup. Not even sure who's between the sticks, but uh, we win 2 nil goals to Stoiger and Madison. Got a monthly scouting update from America, and ship is an 86. He can ship out a 70 reject. 
Uh, Hurtado, 66 to 86, will continue to scout. And Patrick Knighton will continue to scout as well. Right, we've got a one-year loan for Jack Close. We'll accept that. And a one-year loan offer for Ismail Barrios. We'll accept that. Get these young kids out and getting some football. All right, Sean, Phil Leskirk has accepted his contract. So who will be our first signing in the summer? Two and a half million, ten grand. Uh, welcome to the club. Now, we really need to offload Loftus-Cheek. So, Phyllis Kirk, oh, look at that. 94 agility, 93 balance, 81 sprint speed, good ball control, can pass the ball, good at penalties. Uh, he's from England, he's got shit work rates, but uh, at 5'5", five five, we're building that small battalion that Peterborough like to play with. Uh, he is an acrobat as well, so that will serve him well. And I uh, believe that he'll be some decent, you know, probably coming to the first team a lot of the time, but yeah, definitely in the reserves, Phyllis Kirk. And uh, I'm pretty sure he might be like the Lampard or, or uh, Gerard Regen. Not too sure. Right, we got the final scout report here from France. And uh, an 82 will be rejected. An 88, Jean-Luc Manet. Uh, we'll sign him up. Um, an 85, we're going to reject. 64, reject. And 73, reject. All right, we need to send Marcus Peterson out. The three-star, three-star scout. I'll go to the little dish of goodies here. And uh, I'll pick out a country. Which one do we want? We want... Uh, ooh, oh, maybe I'll take this one. What is it? It is England for a winger. All right. Some homegrown talent here in England uh, for a winger. All right, second game. And we've got Gijon. And we lose 4-1. Absolutely smashed. It's hard without Jones between the sticks. On the scouting update from Sweden, we've got a 76 to reject, a 74, and a 70 to 94 in Jordan. Oh my God, how do you even say that name? Uh, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with Jordan, and uh, we're gonna sign him up. All right, found another player here in Mark Stewart, a 72 overall CDM. I felt we needed someone else in that position just to help Forrester out, um, and uh, he only wants 10 grand. Well, that's pretty. That's a pretty decent amount of money. I'm just going to go uh, squad rotation to start with and see if we can get in Mark Stewart. Third game is against uh, Frosinone, or however you say it. We win 2-1. Barrigal with a red card. Goals to Loftus-Cheek and Madison. So, 864 grand into the budget. Alright, semi-final against Zaragoza. And Jones still not back from international duty, so the young keeper's trying to do a job here. They're only like 57 rated. Uh, we win 3-4 on penalties. Okay. 1.1 million into the budget. And Mark Stewart has accepted his contract, so welcome to the club. So here's Mark Stewart. 81 aggression, 83 acceleration. So some good physical stats there for a CDM. Good ball control and passing. That's what we like to see. We'll have to work on his defensive capabilities. He's from England as well. 5 foot 7. 2 star, 2 star. Alright, the lads are still away on international duty, but we have the European International Cup final. It's 1-1 after 7 minutes, but we eventually go down 3-1 to Gu Yong. Alright, youth squad monthly report. Christopher Trafford, 72 to 86. Jean-Luc Manet, 66 to 84, has dropped right off the perch. And we're going to release him straight out. Uh, and Crummer can go as well. Uh, Jordan, 69 to 89. Rumfa, 74 to 92. Seffel, 77 to 94. Moskin, 81 to 87. And William Barry, 72 to 92. He's 18 years of age. He will need a contract soon. All right, we've got a one-year loan offer for Kingsley Barragard of Swindon Town. We'll accept that. All right, we've got the final scout back from America. A 79 reject, a 65 reject, a 67 to 91 in Connor Rodriguez. Um, oh, what? Nah, I'm going to reject him as well. Uh, Hurtado is a 74 to 90. We have scouted him for three months, so I'm going to give him a contract. Um, Patrick Knighton, the goalkeeper, we're going to reject. And Ryan Garcia, we are going to reject. All right, Jake Philpot needs to go to a new country, so we'll just hit the bucket here. And uh, I'm going to take a country out provided by you guys at home. And it's this one right here. It is Turkey for a playmaker. All right, let's go. Turkey, where are you? Down in uh, here somewhere, yes. And the playmaker, thank you very much. Monthly scouting update from Sweden. A 78 reject. An 86 will continue to scout. 82 can go. And a 70 to 94 in Simon Darlin. Uh, we will sign him up, but you never know that low overall. Now we're in England. We've got an 84 to reject, an 81 to reject, and another 81 to reject. All right, first game of the season. Jones is back, and it is against Crew Alexandria. We're going to simulate this one with the reserves team and see if the lads can get our season off to a start. And we win 4-1. Goals to Pestron, Gonzalez, and Coolthurst came on for a goal. Stoja picked up a knock, though. Well, we've got a transfer offer for Cristo Gonzalez, our number one striker. Fiorentina want to pay 11 million for him. 
Well, he's the number one man at the club. Let's go 31 million, you fuckers. All right, Stoy's just done an LCL and he's gone for two months in the first game of the season. Ouch. All right, Manchester City have come in for Christian Pester and he is not going anywhere. Reject all offers. All right, time for some game action, and it is Real fucking Madrid. They obviously won the Champions League. I actually really do apologise. I didn't check who won all the European competitions last year uh, in the season finale. So I do apologise for that, but we know that Real Madrid have won the Champions League, and uh, now we're going to have a red-hot crack of them here in the Copa Europe because we won the Euro League. But, uh, mate, this is going to be something intense. Good chance to see maybe Phyllis Kirk and uh, Stewart in action if we do bring them on. But uh, we'll start with our normal starting lineup. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh my god, this is Raul fucking Madrid. But we've done it before. We are a bit of a giant killing side. Let's see what we can do here. Ronaldo aging. You know that he's still going to be a handful. This whole team is just going to be absolutely ridiculous. Is that Aubameyang they've got? I don't know who they've traded for. I'm going to wait to see this team. Here we go. They've got Nas, Carval, Pepe, Ramos, Michello, Modric, Cruz, Ozil, Aubameyang up front, Ronaldo, Vasquez. This is a strong fucking Real Madrid side. Oh, this could get ugly. We may lose 5 0 here. Here's our team Joan Smith, Oxford Gore, and Clay Loftus Cheek still playing. Uh, Forrester, Billy Knott, Madison Taylor, and Cristo Gonzalez up front. A big game here for Peterborough United. Let's see if we can take down Real Madrid. Oh, great work from Chris Forrester on Modric, but no one running for him, so he's going to take the ball on himself. Now he sees Madison working the space. It's bloody Madison. Works his way inside. Can he get the shot off? He can. Works the keeper perfectly. And counter-attack football at its finest there from Peterborough. Madison took off, took the shot, but straight at the keeper. A good save. And we've got the corner now, and it's going to be John o Taylor to deliver. He's got a man out deep, but he doesn't matter. He goes looking for Loftus-Cheek. It doesn't get there. Chris Forrest is going to have a ping of this from range. Is he? He is. Navas makes the save. Sergio Ramos passes it out. Here's Michello. And he just shits a biscuit and pumps it away. But it looks like he's found a Barmiang who's going to really provide some pace and direction here for Real Madrid. But Enclay gets in there. And oh my God, it's Peterborough again. Can he get John O'Taylor? No, he can't. Half time at nil all here against Real Madrid in the Copa Europe final. Oh, it's a great work from Reese Oxford. He finds Cristo Gonzalez. He cuts through the pack. Cristo Gonzalez gets in! Yes! Yes! Peter Murray United! Well, that came down from Reese Oxford leaving his man. Came out, attacked the fucking attacker, took the ball off him. Found Gonzalez on a blazing run. And what an exquisite finish there from Gonzalez to find the left post. Knocks it in past Nas. And it's 1 0 Peterborough United. Get the fuck in. The giant killing continues here. The posh faithful will be ecstatic. And Real Madrid will be asking themselves questions. Oh, Jones, what a fucking amazing save that was. Oh, played it perfectly. And here's John O'Taylor. Gets picked off. They're going to come for us now, Real Madrid. You just know Billy Knott did well. Gets back in there, Billy Knott. Goal feeds it forward. Forrester gets a touch. The intensity is lifted. Sergio Ramos off to Modric. Finds Cruz. He goes out wide. Here it comes in through the middle. It's Ozil. He shoots and he misses. Forrester off to the new man, Phyllis Kirk. He's just come on. He leaves it away for Modric. Ronaldo back to Ozil. The big firm combines. It's Ronaldo again taking on Oxford. Oxford does well to corral him. And then he falls over and somehow he manages to get it over the line. So he's Jono Taylor in a bit of space. Takes his man on here. You know Jono's got pace and skill. Cuts back inside nicely, Jono. It's still Jono Taylor. Oh, how did he fucking get a finger on that, Nahas? The ball's in dispute, but they clear it away. There's Smith running down the clock. Waits for the run from Madison, and he gets it. There's Madison. Cuts through like a hot knife in butter. Here he goes again. Feeds it forward. Cristo Gonzalez for the sealer. Yes, get in line. Come on! Peter Murray United. 2-0. Cristo Gonzalez has two. And that's it. Done and dusted. The Copper Europe will be coming home with the posh. And we are fucking taking trophies, taking names, and taking the ladies home to the hotel room tonight. Get in there. Cristo Gonzalez growing 
growing, growing. Goal! Get in, lad! Yes! 2-0. Tries to take it on. And there it is, full time. Copa Europe winners. We've knocked off Real Madrid. And a sign of things to come here for the Posh. Unbelievable. Cristo Gonzalez scoring two goals. Two class goals. And we take the Copa Europe. Amazing trophies, fucking raw, falling from the sky here for Peterborough United. Billy not loving life. And, uh, well, is there any stopping this team? We haven't made a lot of transfers, but really just strengthening the reserves because the first team is fit and firing and getting the job done week in, week out. And another trophy for the Peterborough cabinet. And hopefully that's a little bit of cash. Not too sure. And John O'Taylor is going to get to lift another trophy here. Or Peterborough United. On you, Jono. You're leading from the front. That's what we like to see. And give him the trophy, mate. Copper Europe final winners now. Peterborough United beating Real Madrid 2 0. It doesn't get much fucking tastier than that. So we ended up having 10 shots to four. We really dominated the second half. There was only two shots apiece at half time. So uh, the floodgates open after half time. We did the job. Gonzalez with an 8.1. So it's too much for fucking Gonzalez. Too bad. And an extra 1.4 million from that final. Right, so somehow the day after the Copa Europe final, we have a Capital One Cup encounter against Swansea. The reserves, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to be out of this. But uh, we'll send them out there and see if the lads can do a job for us. Come on, boys. We lose 2-0. Well, I was expecting that. All right, we've got a short-term loan offer for Ricardo Santos. We'll accept that. We don't see him getting as much game time as he probably likes. And we have a transfer offer here for Juan Guerrero from Sheffield Wednesday. They're offering 7 at 25. Um, he's pretty handy in that reserves team on the right-hand side. So we're going to say we want 1.7 million for the young lad. And they're coming in hard and fast. All right, I'm just going to show you if he actually goes. South end away with the first team, and it's a two-all draw. Just keep putting the money out there. And uh, a $13 million offer for Stuart Jones. Uh, we're going to reject all offers on that. He has been in scintillating form. Chesterfield at home, and we win 5-0. Three to Gonzalez, one to Oxford, one to Pestrin. More offers for Juan Guerrero. I'll give him another opportunity here, but if no one wants to pay the money, I'm going to reject all offers. All right, reserves away against Scunthorpe, and it's a nil-all draw. All right, I'll put in an offer here of two million and cool thirst for Darragar Griffin. Uh, he is an Irish-born striker and can play cam. He's got some decent physical attributes, and uh, I think he'll be a handy acquisition here for our reserves team and maybe as a backup striker for our first team. We do have the other Gonzalez, but uh, this kid looks like he could be something very, very special. And he's accepted his contract. So, Darragar Griffin, welcome to the club. Cool Thirst, thanks for your services. Uh, but this kid is a lot better than you. So here he is, Griffin. 88 acceleration, 89 balance, some 81 sprint speed, 90 ball control, 90 dribbling. Uh, some really good talent there. He needs to work on his finishing, obviously, but good shot power, good penalties. High, high work rates, 5 foot 8, 2 star, 2 star, and he's got the dribbler specialty already. So uh, a handy acquisition here for Peterborough United. Right, transfer deadline day is done. Let's have a quick look at a youth squad. Trafford, 77 to 85. Hurtado, 72 to 86. Jordan 73 to 91, Rumford 75 to 89, Darlin 70 to 90, Seffel 73 to 91, Moskun 81 to 87, and William Barry 73 to 89. Right, so that's where we're going to leave this one. The transfer window is done. Just a couple of pickups there. We've got a little bit of money in the budget. I might upgrade one of the scouts when they finally come back. Uh, we're sitting in fourth, but obviously only the simulation games there. We will need to uh, bolster that team. But Arsenal are down in ninth. They've only won one game. Manchester United dominating at the top. And uh, it'll be interesting to see who can stay up there. But thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm Swire DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. Sam Preece is just about dead as well. Sam Preece. Oh, what a save from Kraft. Sam Preece puts it in. And we get back into the game. Sam Preece.